If you know me, you know I'm very strongly feminist. And you'll also know that I got my undergraduate in biology, and I make my worldview and all of my philosophical points based on that biological education. Normally, evolution through natural selection takes thousands of generations to cause any real serious differences in phenotypic or genotypic expression. However, artificial selection can make significant changes in a species in as little as six generations. There is a study called the Silver Fox Domestication Experiment that shows how it took only six generations of selective breeding of a sample size of about a thousand foxes where they only chose about the 10% most tame foxes in that generation, in each of those generations, to go from wild foxes to wildly domesticated foxes that would be petted and be picked up and be happy to see human beings. I mention this alongside my stance on feminism because I want you to know women have a very specific power in humanity called sexual selection. They are the ones that choose their mates and men are the ones that get chosen. This is extremely important because that sexual selection is exclusively why we are so smart, so strong, so technologically advanced, and so socially oriented. Over the course of human history, women choose the best men, and the best men pass on their genes. However, when we look at societies that have men choosing the sexual selection, where men take that natural role that women have in society for themselves, i.e. sexual assault, those societies almost always fail within three generations and always fail within six. This is why sexual assault is the number one crime against humanity. There's no forgiveness for it. If I find out somebody has done something like that, I have no room for understanding with them. I have no room for forgiveness for them because they have committed the deepest crime against what we humans are. What's even more interesting is abortion is even more of an extension of that sexual selection. It's even more of a woman's right to choose the men that reproduce, to choose the men whose genes get passed on to the next generation, because sometimes they can be duped. Sometimes they can be swindled, you know, manipulated into believing a guy is a good mate before she rep reproduces with him, and then after she gets impregnated, she realizes he's not shit and she needs to start over. Also, it's a way of undoing sexual assault. So I hope you made it to this part in the video. I hope this is food for thought and helps you recognize the importance that women have in society. Thank you.